Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to finalize the Windows 11 updates for this month, February 2023 for Patch Tuesday, which rolled out on the 14th of Feb. And uh, in this video, um, just to look at the update for Windows 11 21H2, which was KB5022836, and will also be made available as a compulsory automatic download and installation unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. Now, um, the update, 5022836, um, just like for Windows 11 22H2, is a security update and addresses 31 vulnerabilities in Windows 11 21H2. Uh, three of those are critical, and um, those critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution exploits, which means, as an example, a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system via the internet or over a network. So 31 vulnerabilities um, have been patched in Windows 11 21H2, so an important security update rolling out for Windows 11 this month. Now, um, the update will also include improvements and fixes from the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out for Windows 11 21H2 at the end of January last month, which was KB5019274. So just a quick look at some of those highlights, just to recap for the purpose of today's video, and I'll leave a link to that full video I posted previously in the description to give you more info. Now, if we head back to the settings app, and this time we click on the personalization page, and then we head over to the themes page. As mentioned previously, Windows 11 21H2, uh, with this update, if you didn't install KB5019274, those improvements now will include, uh, in this latest update, the new Windows uh, a Spotlight for Desktop, which is now combined with uh, the Themes page, as we can see. And um, that's exactly the same now as Windows 11 22H2. And I think, as I've mentioned previously, this is a nice step in the right direction. Just makes applying Windows Spotlight for Desktop a lot simpler and a lot quicker and a lot easier. And then heading over to the Accounts page uh, in the Settings. A lot going on here with improvements to the Microsoft Account Experience in Settings. And just to go through one or two key uh, improvements there, you can manage your storage and pur purchase additional storage. Uh, from uh, the accounts page now after this update has been applied you will see your OneDrive storage quota your total storage and all um, your total storage will also be displayed on the accounts page and if also as another example if you have an Xbox subscription um, those details will also appear on this page and you'll also be able to see uh, if um, you get an alert if your storage quota is running out and is getting full so that's all happening um, on the accounts page and also in the and on the system page, um, in the after this latest update has been applied. But if you want more info on that, uh, I'll leave a link to that previous video as mentioned in the description. And then of course we get all the different bug fixes that rolled out, and it also includes a TPM fix on certain systems. And if you are running Windows 11 21H2, if we just head over uh, to Winver quickly about Windows. Um, if you are running 21H2, your OS build will be bumped up to 22,000.1574. So that's uh, more or less what's rolled out for Windows 11 21H2 for February 2023 for Patch Tuesday. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.